Good morning. How's it going there? It's Joe Value here for Cold Beer Sports on Saturday morning. Uh, we've two selections for you. Uh, one horse that you'll probably know well from last week and uh, another horse that I tipped up as well previously uh, on the second day I was doing this challenge. But uh, before we get on to them, I'll just uh, wrap up yesterday's. Um, I thought the three horses ran really well. Uh, it's a bit, you know, the three of them came back to form, which I was kind of hoping they would do, or they would have had to do to be competitive. The three of them were competitive, but uh, the nap of the day, Chessman, I was tired of ran quite well. He got a bit of a, bit of a knock coming out of the stall. He's got, you know, he was a good bit back at one stage, but met up a bit of ground and ran on well to be tired. He probably has one of them races in him. A dream machine. I thought we were, you know, we were looking very good turning for home. He uh, he was in front going well, but uh, just ran out of steam late on. It was just a bit frustrating that he, he couldn't get a place. You know, it was 9-1, to one, would have been nice for a place. And then a uh, retrospect last night. Um, I thought it was a very canny ride from Dougie Costello on the favourite. You know, he went up in front and he slowed it up. He kind of turned it into a, turned a two-mile race into a four-and-a-half furlong sprint. You know, rest, retrospect, as I said. Last uh, yesterday, I said he's no change of gear. You know, he just stays on all at the one pace all the time. So there's one of them poor races in him as well. But yeah, frustrating. But at least we got the each way money off, uh, off the chess man. So wasn't a disaster by any means. Uh, right. So today, okay, today's tricky because there's a load of rain around, and uh, I for one won't be getting too heavily involved today because um. The two my two main fancies, you know, uh, one good ground. So I'll start off in the six twenty five new market, Yankee Stadium. He's a horse that I tipped up last time, travelled much the best last time, just his run flattened out a bit. Uh, this is a worse race and I expect him to be the last off the bridle again and hopefully today he might just go on and win. Uh he's in the six twenty five there new market, as I said, Yankee Stadium, seven to two, the trying blinkers and a tongue strap. And it's his second run after a break, so he should be a bit fitter from the last time as well, I'd say. Stepping up to a mile. I just think he's better than this mark. Maybe he's a bit of a dog, I don't know. We'll find out today. But uh, actually, no mark aren't getting too much rain, so there's no real excuse for this lad today. I just hope he settles early, and if he does, uh, he should come there going very easily if they decide to hold him up like they did the last day. Uh, and hopefully he'll just go on and win. You know, I think he's just a little bit better than them. My second and final selection of the day is in the 7.35 at Salisbury, uh, a horse called The Other Side. and uh, We backed her last week. She should have won. Uh, you know, got carried to the other side of the track and didn't get in the Stuart's inquiry, as we've mentioned a few times. It's very frustrating. Let's see, the problem with today, you've been asked to back her at 3 to 1 or 7 to 2, whereas last week we were on at 7 and 8 to 1. You know, so it's a worse race today, tonight. But the ground has gone good to soft. And she, the re main reason I fancied her last week was because the ground was good to firm. So, I mean, it's two different type ground types. She can't, some, you know, some of them just can't walk on soft ground. Never mind run on it. But I, I look back on her form again this morning and last year at Salisbury on good to soft ground. She ran okay in a class two event. Now, tonight is a class five event. Last week where she should have won was a class four event. She's carrying ten stone. That's a bit of a drawback as well. But like she's the best horse in the race. I've no doubt about that. She's the best horse in the race. But she just has more against her this evening than she had last week. And uh, therefore, uh, you know, I'm not as keen as I was last week on her, even though she's a much shorter price. And uh, so I'm just gonna take it easy on them. I'll have a point win on each of them and I'm gonna do a Half a point each way double, just in case the two of them do win. Uh, I'll be taking the opportunity today to look back on some, be you know, the the bets that I done early on in the week. I don't think it's any harm for any punter out there who wants to try and make a go of it to look back on previous bets. Because you know, the bookmakers look back and they're constantly looking, checking people's bets and looking back and see are they good or bad or indifferent. You've been monitored uh, the whole time. So I don't see the, why you, you should monitor yourself and have a look at your own betting and see where you're going right and see where you're going wrong. Uh, you know, I know some people just 
like just doing the odd bet here and there and it doesn't really make any difference whether they win or lose. But if you uh, are trying to make go your punting, I think it is a good idea to you know, monitor it and uh, see what's working for you and see what doesn't work for you and then um, adapt accordingly, you know. So uh, that's it then. Um, you know, great racing today, great racing in Ascot. Really looking forward to the King George. Um, I know that's uh, a good judge fancies broom actually with, with changing the ground. Well, if the ground does change, then broom is a good price at around 20 to 1. I don't know. I think it's a it's a race to savour, a race to watch and enjoy. So, anyway, I'll be back tomorrow at some stage. Not sure yet, but uh, I'll talk to you then. Uh, show value here for Cold Beer Sports. Thanks for listening. Cheers.